How beautiful was that? Now, just to let you know from the top, 50% of the stock has now gone on your fantastic new Clean and Simple Plus collection. Now, I'm Dawn Wheeler. I'm going to be with you again this hour to show you this fabulous collection. If you've had any of the Clean and Simple before, you know they normally come in the box sets and everything else, and they're a fantastic creation. Now, we're doing the Plus size, where we give you bigger dies in this fantastic storage folder, so you've got all of these to keep in here, but you will see now you you have got larger size dies. This then gives you that advantage to make that A5 size card. So again, giving you that luxury feel with it, but also the benefits of Clean and Simple that you know all of the apertures are made to measure. Precision cutting, precision alignment, but with the beauty of the extras of the florals, the bows, and also the plaques in this one for you to mix and match with your original Clean and Simple as well. But if you just want to start today by getting the Clean and Simple new plus range, this could be the one for you. Maybe you're looking for something new, something extra, something plus as we say, a little bit like a piece to a puzzle. This is now the extra bits you can add on that are just going to extend your range, your design and your techniques as well. But as you can see, it should be normally $44.99. For today's show price, you're paying $39.99, which is a fantastic price for all the amount of metal you are getting in here. And you're getting the storage wallet to keep it all pristine and to keep it tidy and all together. And obviously this morning we've been very, very busy. And like I say, 50% already gone in the first hour. So it's only going to get busier and busier for this as the day goes on. So honestly, really, really beautiful imagery and artwork. Let's show you the board so you can have a little look at what you're actually getting in your collection. But you will see by this... It's all down to the precision. Nick and the team at Carnation Crafts, it's worked out for you that you can get that perfect alignment. You can have that perfect matte and layer each and every time with all of your items because obviously with the dies, they all work together. This is like a business in a box. You can make and sell with this. You've got instant accessibility to now being able to make and create your own cards. Some of the cards I was showing you earlier as well, you can then cut like a double aperture. You can have a different style of card if you want to. You can use it landscape or portrait just by rotating the dies on there. And you have got all the elements, even from previous collections, the flowers will fit into here as well. So again, all your stamps and everything else will now fit. This is just like a, think of this like an extender kit. This is now going to extend your way of using these. You can see with this, you've got all your mats and layers. You've even got embossed detail on this one to show you then that you have got that lovely finished effect on there. The bow that you're going to use all year round. Then you've got the added extras in there that you can use as you could put like little droplets on these so they be, could be hanging down the other way, but also on corners of your cards or as fillers behind the floral elements as well. You've got the extra bit here that once it's cut out, you can see you get all these individual pieces. So if you did want to cut these and just use them as separate elements, you can. It's got snippability with the little bits in there. And also you can take the full centre bit out and it does look like a feather or a wing. So again, you've got that look with those ones, but very, very simple to do that. I do remember as well, you get your free download of the artwork that's been specially coloured and designed by Nick and the team at Carnation Crafts to give you that luxury when you die cut them out using the dies, you've got that perfect finish. You've also got the extra bits here that are going to make it dimensional. So if you see from the side, you've got that dimension and the height on there too. Plus you've got the banner. But as you saw in perhaps one of the earlier cards that I did, you can join these together and make it like an extended ribbon on your card. So don't be frightened to have a go with those or just stamp directly onto them. The bow, you can layer this up as well, but having those beautiful colorways, all free, all free to download on carnationcrafts.co.uk, you can now get yours. And if you're wanting to see what they look like, I'll bring those in. These are your downloads that you print off, score on the black line, put a little bit of spray adhesive, or adhesive on the inside, put these together, and then you will have the reflections in there once you've die cut those to then give that beautiful look on there for all your cards and projects. Now, earlier on, 
in the show, we were asked if I could cut these Maxine. out. Maxine, that was it, Maxine, lovely Maxine. So we're going to show her how to cut these out. So I have got some of the cardstock from the Bluebell collection available on the website. And do remember, if you missed out on the Bluebell collection, we have actually got extended on that one, like a pre-order. So if you want to pre-order that one, because it sold out instantly last time, it is on a pre-order from Monday. So not long to wait if you're wanting to get that. Now, I'm just going to take my kit. Now, I've been sliding these in and out, so I do apologise. Mine are a little bit all over, but it's fine. So with this, what I'd actually do is go on Carnation Crafts website as well and I'd have a look for a magnetic sheet and put that in here and keep that with this as well. So I'm just taking those out. Now, these are all your mats and layers, okay? So let's just explain them first of all so you can see hopefully on there. Now, this is the one with the embossing detail, but again, perfect alignment every single time. You've got the magic of this sitting just where you want it. Then you've got your next layer and you'll see if I do this, these don't obviously cut with them like that, but I'm doing this to show you how the alignment works. Can you see? So you've got perfect mills around either side to make sure this aligns. Then as you go on, if you want to cut more mats and layers, then you've got your layers that then go on each and every layer. So perfect mats and layers every single time. This is what Carnation Cross are truly well known for is their detail of design. And you've really got that here. So I'm going to cut these to show you how easy it is and how simple you can make your cards look. So let's take the first layer. I'm just going to add this onto here. Now I am using A4 size machine, but this would go through an A5 if you wanted to. And I'm also using a cheek piece of cut tidy. I always use that. It doesn't matter whose dies I'm using. I always use it. It's a little bit of magic. It always gives you that extra little bit of bite and it also helps to release the bits out a little bit easier. So I'm just aligning that. Let's run this through quickly so I can show you it. Bear with. Now let's just hold this. There we go. Running that through. Just give that a second or two to run through there. Then I'm going to cut you the next layer as well. So then you can see how easy it is and you've got that instant alignment with those. And this is the genius bit because cutting apertures like this, especially with this shape, if you didn't get it right, you, it would be a little bit of a nightmare. You'd end up wasting a lot of cardstock. Not with these collections, you're clean and simple. It's about giving you perfect apertures every single time. So taking this first one out, you can see there I've got the embossed detail, but if you wanted then to run that through and get even more embossed detail, you could do that with an embossing mat as well. But there's your first layer, so I've got that there ready to go. Can we see? Yes, you can. You can see that there. Look how fabulous that is. That really... But if you want to, you could add little gems in the centre of that or some of the flowers that you've got in your kit, you could actually put those on there. So that is your first layer. Okay, so let's take these out. Now I'm going to run through the second layer. And like I say, this is, I'm doing this in navy in the Bluebell cardstock. So we can take this out. And remember, even the waist, save these bits because you can create a beautiful fan or feather like effect with those as well. So they're really nice to add in. So let's run this through just to show you. So you know when you get this home, it's going to be super, super simple. Now, when you obviously use them, I'm just going to put mine back in here quickly. But try and put them back all nicely and neatly when you get yours. But I'm putting them in so I've got space and I know exactly where they are. Because if you know me, I can get a little bit messy. So let's put those all on there. Plates are ready. We are good to go. Let's take this out. But thank you for joining me. Thank you for being back with me this afternoon. It's nice to know that you're all there. And I know we had a very busy show earlier. So again, get your comments in, anything that you need to know. And obviously you can watch this back. So if you're wanting to learn how to do the aperture and feel more confident, I get it. Just obviously you can watch this back on YouTube. Now, this is the second one. So that's my base layer. I'm going to mat and layer that over the top. And look at that perfect alignment. This is what we're talking about with the range of clean and simple. We're making it easy, we're making it professional and we're giving you that beautiful look on there as well. So you can see that you have got that amazing detail with all of these, which makes it so much easier. You've not got to worry about it when you are using them because this now is your time. A little bit of foam pads on the back, lay those up, but then you've got the other layers to add behind it so I could do another layer of white, another layer of the dark, like this one, let me show you. And you can see then, 
just by mixing and matching, I've built that up. And look how different it looks with a white layer with the navy and vice versa. So each and every time, this is going to look so different. Now, this is from the Bluebell collection, the, the cardstock and also the flowers. So if you did want to get that, like I say, it's on a pre-order from Monday on our website on the Carnation Crafts one. And have a look on there. Everything is on there for you. So hopefully that's explained it for Hazel and a few of you to show Maxine. you. Just, Maxime, where did I get Hazel from? I don't know. I'm terrible with names. I do apologise. Thank you, Tasman. Um, but honestly, this is going to make it so easy now for you to create whatever you want to do. Now, let's show you some finished examples as well. So the different ways you can use them. So like I say, you can see with this, you've got that beautiful aperture. You can obviously use it landscape, portrait, you can add it up, you can have it down. These are the bits that I said to you, don't waste the waste bits. Now, if you're worrying worrying thinking well where are those bits from they are actually on the other die which i said to you has got snip ability so you can bring those in or you can bring in look at this bring in the other dies that we've got in from the clean and simple collections you can bring those in as well we've got i've done it again i am sorry i keep turning that one the wrong way around but look at the mats and layers this is what makes these cards shine this is what makes these cards stand out they become that boutique style look at that just white on that soft pink thing of you very delicate you've got that soft teardrop effect on there now look at this one using those fabulous corners as an extra detail on there and then tucking in the little sentiment underneath that bow look how magical they are now if you want to take it even further and bring in things that you've already got from carnation crafts this is going to be your time to do that because this will fit because it's a larger size set of dies like I say, this is like an extra add-on. It's an extra piece that you can use now in your, your card collection. So you're making A5 size cards if you want to with this one. And it will just give you that scope to, you know, use different things. It might be rubber stamps. It might be the dies that you've got from Carnation Crafts. But look at that as a window in like a chapel. This will then open up all your realms of thinking, do you know what? I need a backdrop. I want something simple. It could be in a walled garden. It could be that beautiful look. It could be a shaker card. You now can take this and do whatever you want to do. We have got so many fantastic samples to show you, but honestly, very, very busy from the get-go here today. Normal price, $44.99, but show price, $39.99. And you are now investing in the clean and simple plus range. Like I say, we do the everyday clean and simple, which we will be doing another collection in a while. But this is an extra bit now just to let you dip your toes in the water and to add on what you've already got. So let's have a little look. Let me find my little project and we're going to make something fabulous. I hope you're having a fabulous day, all of you. And the weather's cheered up a little bit for you out there because obviously I know it's been a little bit rough the last few days, hasn't it? So let's add this onto here. So now... What I've taken now is the same process, as always, using the mats and layers, and I've cut those, so we've got the apertures, but this time I'm going to turn the card on its side, okay? So we're gonna be working with it this way. I also use the extra pieces in between because I want these to sit in there, can you see? And we're gonna build around this one and I'm gonna be using this so the actual flowers are growing up this side. You don't always have to use it in you know, the said way, as we said before, you can change it up. First of all, I am just gonna stick this on to here because I want a bow in the corner. So I've cut down one of the ribbon strands. I'm gonna flip this over and I'm just gonna cut this off on the back. Always cut from the back because this then will give you a guideline. So you're not gonna cut into your cardstock because obviously your cardstock is there to protect you. Just trim into that. Do have a look on the website though for all your tapes and your glues because everything will be on there too. So just lifting up a little bit of my foam on a roll. We're gonna take this off and add this to the front of the card. Again, I'm using the pink and white cardstock that was in the last collection. Proud petals. Proud petals, and it is all on the website as well. So again, I'm just going to pop this down here onto my matte and layer, and you can see that perfect. 
every time. I don't have to even think about it. I'm going to pop the next layer on using my tape that comes in your clean and simple kits when you're using your kits. So if you're wondering where that is, have a look on the website and you can get that too. But with the clean and simple plus range, like I say, totally new for you today, something totally different to what we have normally brought you, but it's still giving you the luxury and the feel of the clean and simple range where it's all done for you. And that's what then what makes this the range that it has been to this day. And that's why a lot of you are loving this. And I'm not surprised. I get really excited when they arrive. I get really excited when Tasman messages and says, oh, the, you know, dates for the shows and this is what's coming. It's like a great surprise. So honestly, I know how much you all enjoy this fabulous range, but it's going to keep growing. There's going to be different things. So make sure you do tune in to the shows or when you get a reminder on your phone that these are popping up because... This now is going to be something that is there for you as a resource for you to use with your other products, but also something that you can instantly just take out the packet or the box, depending on which of the clean and simple you've got, and you can just make with it. Look at that already. We've got that dimension. We've got that shape. Everything is layering together beautifully. Then I've got one of the sentiments out of one of the previous kits because some of the others have got stamps and everything in it. And the next one will be a box kit as well, so don't worry. But you've got your stamps in there, and look at that. That fits perfectly, stamps in there beautifully as well. Now, taking my flowers, like I say, for speed, I was just bending around my fingers, but you could use a ball tool if you wanted to. They are available on website, and I would highly recommend those. I have a set of those, and they are beautiful. But you can see with this, now, that just by adding that shape, that's what gives it that free flow, makes it look more natural. Whereas sometimes when you put flowers on your cards and they're very, very flat, you don't always get that dimension. This now gives it that movement and play without you having to use lots of glues and different things to get height and dimension. You can use your everyday glue. Again, have a look on the website. It's all available there for you. And if you're not sure, you can always just send us a message and say, well, I'm doing this, what glue do I need? And we can help you out with that one as well. But really, really simple to do. I'm just going to add this in. But it's nice to know that you're all there with me again today. So thank you. Because oh, obviously I don't... Oh, great. Because I don't always get over to see you a lot on Carnation Crafts. So it is nice when I am here, I can bring you something new and spend some time with you all. And hopefully give you that little bit of inspiration. And any of the cards that I've made, you know, you can copy them. It's not a problem. There is a Facebook group as well. The um, Clean and Simple Facebook group. You can go there. And obviously the design team will put the cards on there. So if you need any even more inspiration or questions even, you know, you can reach out to people on there too. And they are a lovely bunch. It's nice to join a fabulous group where everybody's nice. So let's add these onto here. I'm just layering these up. Sometimes I use the exact ones. Sometimes I'm a bit naughty and I will mix it up and use like different shapes because all the different flowers or I just offset it sometimes and twist it like that one. I'm going to twist it and you can see then it gives more of a fullness to the flower. So I do that as well sometimes because me just personally, that's my taste. That's what I like to do. Some of them obviously you can't twist and rotate, stick to those. But if you are doing it, then you can see, just give it a go once. If you like it, you like it. If you don't, you don't. But I think once you all start trying different ways of stacking the flowers, you then, it will give you a different look rather than just using the same dye all the time. Just stagger it. Like with this one, rather than it being like that, I'm going to move this round a little bit. Can you see? So it looks like the flower underneath is even more fuller. But... It's all about you experimenting, and that's what I like you to try. Like this one, I'm even going to be a bit rogue here, and I'm going to add in a third layer, which normally, that's one of the smaller ones, but it's giving me a third layer, which I like. And again, giving you that little bit more density to the flowers. You don't have to do all of them. It might just be some of them. But again, just bend the petals in or out, whichever way you want them to. But this then will give you an absolute illusion look on your cards. And again... You know, you're not cutting out any extra flowers, really. You're just twisting them and just giving it a fullness. Now, this one here, I just feel it needs that little bit more. So, again, I'm going to add a third layer with this one. So, it looks like it's heavier at the bottom and it's less at the top. But, you know, decoupage is always different for every single person. Now, with the bow, what I tend to do is just press that bit around my finger 
so the loop is a little bit more bowed and then I'll do exactly the same with this piece on the side again just curve it over my finger so it gives it that little bit of movement now with the bow as well if you want to you can just snip that free like so and again if you then push that back can you see and you push this bit back this then gives it more of like a fluid look like fabric so that now can sit on my card and you can see that's got movement to it as well. So it's not always about using foam pads and everything else. It's about you manipulating and shaping the style that you've got. And because with this, you've got that beautiful finish on there from your die, you can see now when I turn this round, you've got that beautiful card. But again, in a different stance to anything that I've made or showed you before. The bow just has that decadence to the corner. But if I hold it like that, can you see what I mean about the decoupage? Don't be frightened to stack it and do slightly different with it as well. You'll know if it doesn't look right. But hopefully with the clean and simple plus range, this now is going to give you larger cards. It's going to give you that detail and it's going to make sure that your cards stand out from the crowd but absolutely stunning collection 39.99 if you are wanting to get this at the show price today 240413 pop over to the carnation crafts website where everything is on there plus the downloads if you want to get those to work with that yes miss tasman so we've got some people to say hello to oh have we fabulous so rachel has said she's just received an email hers <gasps> is on the way fabulous suzanne has said she ordered yesterday hers is on wow, the way wow i can't wait to see what you all do with it linda ordered yesterday yeah hers is on the way at nine o'clock this morning wow jeanette Super ordered today fast. hers is on the way and jenny west has also said she's ordered and hers is on the way got there you class. go carnation crafts honestly their delivery service if they've got it and they can get it out to you as fast as they can they will so you never have to worry like i say you could be playing with this this time tomorrow so ooh, let's see how excited we are with that so let's show you a few more finished examples and let's pick some different ones and i can show you these now this is what we're talking about it's getting a little bit more elaborate it's about adding the detail in there but still keeping the purity of the clean and simple range but look at that how beautiful is that it looks like it's in a beautiful vase or vase you've got that fabulous style on there for you to be able to use but just that classic beautiful finish is going to make these what they are when you use them too now look at this one the flower's been cut out in white so it's like a soft shadow like effect you've got that beautiful like skyline paper there so again it could be for a retirement card anniversary you've got all that lovely look in there and i know a lot of you have got extra bits so this would be fabulous now for you to now just add this to your little you know collections and things like that you've got that fabulous storage for it but look at that one navy and white that's obviously the cardstock from the bluebell collection again but this now will give you that lovely lovely look with that one but honestly you are going to have to be quick over 50 percent of the stock of this one has now gone we are on par like last time obviously this could be a sellout again i don't want you to miss out well, you've got the evening people. yes we've got the nighttime ones that will be coming in from work and catching up on this and re-watching this obviously later on so don't miss out on yours but look at that when the dyes are mixed in just as a background you have got that beautiful flow and collaboration with the dyes but like i say this is the clean and simple plus collection even if you've just tuned in thinking what is this the plus collection this is where now we can offer you an advanced like an extension of the kits we're giving you larger size dyes larger size apertures that we're again going to give you precision making it easy for you to then cut these and just get into the rhythm of doing the most fabulous designer apertures, which obviously can be very tricky and difficult to cut. You can see you've got your layers to work into it like the last demo I did, but you might be that sort of person like I am that thinks, do you know what? I'm going to do a double one. How many cards do you see with a double aperture? And you might cut the first one and it'd be perfect, but the second one you might struggle with. That's when you're wasting your card stocks, not with the clean and simple range. All that stress has been taken away for you now in cutting all your apertures precisely. Then you've got the embellishment. You've got the perfect sizes of flowers and embellishments and tags to go with these as well. But remember, $39.99 is your show price. 240413 available on the card. 
Carnation Crafts website for you as well. So let's do another little demo. Let me pull this one out the little box, bear with me, and have a little look at this. Now, again, we've done a little bit of matting layering. I've brought it all together, but it just shows you how many different ways, look at all my little bits, you can now add these into here. So let's just take this. But it's so, so easy. You could have a lot of these mats and layers. You could have a day where you just cut all these ready to go. So if somebody asks you to make a card, you've got them. But look at this, mats and layers, perfect. You have got everything you need on there for you. It's good to go. So taking my tape off the back, we're just going to layer this straight on to the front of my lovely white cardstock. So let's just position this so we can show you this one. But this is going to give you the magic, the wow factor. And like I say, sometimes I might think, oh, I'll do an aperture, but then I give up because before I had the clean and simple range, I just used to think my, I haven't got enough hours in the day if I cut it wrong. With the clean and simple range and the plus range now, you are getting the precise sizes for all your apertures that are going to give you that alignment, that lovely finish and that quality finish for all of yours. So can you see you've got that perfect alignment there. Let's pop this on to the front of the card. Again, giving it that luster, giving it that, re, you know, that regal look to your cards and Sometimes the more simple cards are the ones that really stand out the most. Sometimes when they're a bit busy, that's when sometimes people, you know, if you're making a selling, step away. This is now going to give you that luxury feel. And, you know, if you go in the cards, you know, stores and have a look, you will find normally the ones that are more, a little bit more bespoke, like these are, and a little bit more, you know, clean and simple, you will actually find then these are the ones that actually cost you more because the finish that you've got with it. These are a standalone product, but if you want to bring different elements into this, you can. You might have a stamped image behind there. You imagine doing this in reds and greens, stamping a Christmas tree and then cutting bits out so the tree would be behind it and the branches could be coming out of it as well because I'm not being funny, Christmas is not that far away in craft world, you know that. So this could be a time now to start thinking, yeah, I know what she means. Or you may have like, you could put strips to make it look like a window or something and you could have like a little fireplace behind it. It's all about the suggestion with the clean and simple range. We're giving you the suggestion where then you can take this to whatever level you want, using and maximising the, you know, the quality of the dies and the precision and all the measurements that have been done for you. Because if you're anything like me, I am not a measurer. I do not measure. So having these by Nick and the team who can measure for you and make sure everything's right, you now have got that magic. Because like I say, there's not a lot of people out there who have actually got apertures that do what these dies do. So having these now is going to change your world. And, you know, let us know how many of you struggled with apertures and since finding, the, you know, the range that we've got for you, you know, with clean and simple, it has been a game changer. I'd like to know. I really, really would. So adding these on here, just layering these up for you. Again, you know, add in take away what you don't want you might just want one layer but if you've got the time to sit and add these in please do so because it does add that real wow factor to your project so adding these in but the luxury of the apertures is what it's all about it's like we said earlier it's like you know they say the eyes are the window to the soul apertures are the windows to your cards this is what's going to make them sing and give you that, you know, stand out from the crowd and somebody's going to say, oh, I like her cards, they're really crisp and clean. You know, like say if you've had new bedding and your new bedding's all crisp and clean and it just looks nice and it's a pleasure to walk into your bedroom. You know, this is going to give you that same effect with your cards. You're going to look at your cards, you know, once you've made them, stand them up in your craft room or on your table in your lounge. And every time you walk in, you can look at them and think, I've made them. You know what I mean? And it's just a beautiful thing to look at with these apertures. So just adding these into here like so and giving you that lovely finish on there. I'm using a smaller one in there just to build these up. But like I said to you before, they're your cards. You could, if you wanted to, you could have a few in the corners. You could add different details there. You could play around with these a little bit. But I do like that they have, we've scaled it back. You know, like they say, an elegant little black dress and some jewellery. That's all you need. These are the little black dress of craft. We have now got here 
the most lovely looking card. So again, I've given it quite a lot of dimension because I personally like that. Some of you I know may be different. Now I've taken the banners and this time I've actually stamped onto this congratulations. And what I've done is then I've just run this round my finger but flattened either edge, can you see? So now it's slightly bowed, so that's gonna sit onto there like so. So let's just take the tape off the back and I'm gonna add this to the front to give it that little bit of, shall we say, je ne sais quoi, because that's what it's about with this range. Now I've put tape either side, but this time I'm not taping it all the way down. Like with this one, you could take out your enamel dots available on the website, you could take a few of those because you'll find with the Pantones and the colours, these all match beautifully. So you could use the white, you could use a little bit of the, the purple or the peach tones, mix those in with your orders as well. Now this time, what I'm going to do with this to make it look really fancy is I've half stuck it down. Can you see either edge? So it's got that little bit of movement as if like the ribbon is moving on there. So hopefully that will show you again, you have got that different style. It looks classic. It looks beautiful. The flower looks like it's growing out the card because of that amazing aperture. Your sentiment banners, they are available in the, the Clean and Simple Plus collection. And like I say, this time giving you a larger card, a larger form format for those as well. So really, really pretty to have all those, but honestly, these are just gonna keep giving and giving, and obviously with all the different colors that we've got, you can do that too. But if you're wanting a little bit more inspiration, take a look at this. Wow, if you are wanting to be part of the clean and simple plus range we have for you now, this is your chance. As you can see from the imagery you've just seen, these are beautiful, these are stylish, but all the tension is taken out of your card making. All the measurements are done, it's the most easiest way to create apertures in your card now with the beauty of Carnation Crafts Clean and Simple range. This is now going to give you that vote of confidence because you don't have to measure, you don't have to worry about this. This will now elevate your cards. You can mix and match all the other ranges from Clean and Simple with this. So if you've got some with the stamps and different dies, you could add those in too. But the world is your oyster now with the Clean and Simple range, especially the Plus range. This is an extra like add-on that we've added in now that will then just give you larger size dies for when you need those larger size A5 size cards, but you can factor in any of your other designs as well. So if you've got other dies, this is now your chance to bring those in too. So let me show you exactly what I mean. So with this one, we have actually pulled in one of the other designs as well that we have from the Rangers Clean and Simple and just tuck that in underneath. But you could have a circle up here. You could have a triangle, the diamond shaped ones that we've got. You can see how luxurious these look now 55% of the stock has now gone I did say to you it's going to get busier and busier and honestly you need to be on the website checking out your orders to make sure because it's not yours till you check out remember that at 39.99 but look at these adding in those fabulous you know stamps or dies that you've already got you can change the colors you can change the drama you can change the backdrop in them but again the magic is all in the apertures and the pieces that go with this card to know you haven't got to measure a thing so absolutely beautiful to have those but 240413 if you're wanting to get your clean and simple plus and if you're sat there thinking oh, that's not the clean and simple I know. No, it isn't. We will be bringing that back as a monthly or just over monthly um, occasion. We will be doing that. But this is something new we brought in today that we thought, well, the team at Carnation Crafts, Nick and the design team, thought we need extra bits and giving you that bigger size. So this is why we've done this in as an extra that you can bolt on to everything else. So let's do another demo. This time I am using the cardstock from the Bluebell collection. 
because I just felt with the navy and the white, this really gave it the drama and the structure. And it's quite, it's quite funny because one of the lovely design team has used exactly the same flowers that I had as well. So I, I just got these in a drawer and then I pinched out another piece and what I've done is I've snipped that because I want this as a filler. So this is like gypsophilia. So I'm going to add this in behind here to give it that extra little je ne sais quoi. And I've also got a little mouse as well. The little mouse there because I just thought it would add that bit of detail. And I know a lot of you have got the mice from Carnation Crafts. So let's bring that in. So my first layer with this one, I've used the emboss one. Like I showed you in the demonstration how easy it is to do. Then the second one, I wanted to keep this white just to get have white on white because I think that always looks very very clean and it looks pure on there as well. Then I use my next die to give me my next matting layer. Again you can see then I've got the drama behind there. So do try when you get these obviously if you do acetate or if you wanted to you know mark it out and then use one of the dies and then cut like a slightly smaller aperture. You could have an aperture all the way through your card. But with this, try different colours, try pinks behind it, try whites, try your greens, try all your different ones on there as well. And that's going to give you that lovely look on there too. So let's mat and layer this together. Again, using my tape off the website, have a look for the adhesives. There's lots of adhesives and glue on there as well. So just taking this off of there like so. I'm going to lay this onto my first piece. And again, with that lineup system, it's so easy on there now to make sure look at that perfect and with that white it really does carry it well now I've used a foam tape on the back because I wanted that little bit of height and formation on there too and this is what this is going to give me as well so let's just take all these little bits off so I can add this to the back of the card and look at this that to me is just pure regalness with that navy and white it just looks clean and crisp could be a new baby card you could do it in pastels pinks and whites and greens and powder blues a lot of you have got your perfect paper card stocks off the website so have a look for those as well so just adding this on to here now look at that again perfect a5 size card in case you're wearing that and if you're thinking what size is that wheeler i've got no idea Half of an A4, so this is an A4 sheet folded in half, that gives you an A5. So it just shows that the Clean and Simple Plus gives you that larger size die for you to work with. Now, I'm just going to bend these a little bit just to give it a little bit of movement. I have already matted and layered these up and given it a little bit of the 3D finish on there too. And I'm going to sit this one and look at that. You have got an instant card. If you're never sure, always just position it. Never just put it straight on. Like I could actually have that there. I could move this just to show you a little bit of composition. I could have that just coming out of there. I could have my little mouse sat there. And then these I could actually have draped across there. So again, it gives you that look. I could also drape these around the top, one at the top. I could have my sentiment in the middle and I could have this there. Well, yes, Miss Taz. Has, has her hands. You could have it holding or pulling the sentiment. This is it. So again, look, just to show you different ways, the little mouse could actually be holding that just there, like so. Obviously, mine aren't glued down, but you've got that too. So it really will give you that dress to be able to stylize it with those. So a lot of you have got extra bits. I know you have, so get them out. But for this one, what I wanted to do was I wanted to bring this in this way. So it's like a beautiful vase, like a like a like it's backlit but with drama it's got that depth on there so let's take our glue let's position this on to our card but again I'm not too precious when I stick it down because I do like that little bit of movement and play with my image so I don't always stick it all down all the elements so it doesn't look flat I'll leave some bits that actually move a little bit but that's down to you however you like to do that so you can see there and then what I'll do then is position and stick those as I go. Like I said to you, I've got this that is like gypsy filia that I cut in half just as an extra little filler and detail on my work as well. Oops, oh dear, there you go. Sticky fingers. So adding this into there, can you see how that just gives it that extra dimension behind there and acts as an amazing filler. So, you know, have a look in your craft boxes I'm sure you've got extra bits that you think oh I'm going to save that I'm not you know I'm not throwing it away 
don't save it now this is going to be where your elements really do come into play and then I've got my little mouse who's just going to be she's like dancing and looking back on everything so let's use a little bit of glue gel on this one but I'm so glad you've all loved this you know clean and simple plus because it is just so different look at her skipping away there just there I'm just going to sit her just there so she's she's very happy and then I've stamped out one of the sentiments from one of the other previous collections of the normal clean and simple but I've mixed it in to show you you can use it with the plus collections the sentiments will still fit in there just as well so just adding a little bit of the everyday glue now on the back of here to make sure this is secure this dries really really fast and also it's got a low water content too so now I can add that little bit of drama there by that navy backdrop on there too. Give that a second or two to grab. But you can see now we've built that up. That could be sorry, it could be birthday, whatever occasion you want. But the grandeur, the larger your size cards, this is going to make it easy for you. And honestly, I don't mind if you copy any of my designs. I'm more than happy for you if it helps you to understand the process and obviously get you up and making and selling as well you can do that too but that is really really lovely with that so let's just show you what else we've done so you can see there we've got that one in there I've made another one as well haven't I? where have I put that one there we go I've got it so you can see look at the three different styles I've done two different colors but again, they look so different and that's what it's all about. You imagine if you did it in navies and silvers, navies and golds, things like that. This could be in blues, it could be oranges, it could be lemons, it could be pinks, it could be greens. You've now got the variants now to be able to do that. But I just think if you're wanting drama on your cards and to then make your elements pop, having the darker colour behind it like that navy with it looks sophisticated but really, really fabulous. You, anybody would be more than happy to receive these, I am sure. But honestly, this is your clean and simple plus. And if you're thinking, what is the plus about? The plus gives you larger sized eyes, larger size apertures, still the quality and designs that you would expect from Carnation Crafts clean and simple range but now it just makes it so you have got more accessibility to make the larger size cards mix and match with everything that you have got before but these are going to be your new finds 240413 for that 39.99 44.99 is your normal price but today for the show price you've got that magical one there 240413 hop over to our fantastic website carnationcrafts.co.uk and you'll be able to find everything on there now I'm quickly going to show you the boards again just so you can see these two but you can see this is what your packaging will look like this is what they look like when they're all cut out and laid together so you've even got this piece if you wanted to take all that out you could have that as a backdrop this will just cut into the cardstock as well so you could have alternative like that one side and that the other side you've got your extra embellishments in there which I absolutely love I can imagine little droplets on those as well then you've got your sentiments banners you've got your cartouche frames there and you've got your bows with the floral elements these are incredible you can download the artwork and have this ready like I know a lot of you have today and you can see with this you've even got the ribbons so if you wanted to this is one I used before if you cut it in half and you curl it and shape it you can then add an extra ribbon to your bow as well but that would sit beautifully on there everything is pre-sized to work together and especially with the flowers as you can see you've got the decoupage layers that will give you that extra bit on there as well now let's show you a few more samples before we go but I want to show you how lovely these are now again using the factors from the obviously the plus range of the clean and simple this is now going to give you that lovely look on there now for you to take home and obviously work with and honestly pop your ideas and your cards in the group we'd love to see what you make of them as well and this one is so clever using it as an archway but like I was saying to you before add the darker colors for the drama look how much it makes you then pop with color all those extra bits that we've brought in there from different collections and things like that to really give it that stance now look at this one again the background they've used different you know 
dies that you've used before but this is now giving you that trellis like effect on there too but really really gorgeous they're just cutting it out white on white that looks stunning on there too but this is a business in a box this is now your way of making larger cards to make and sell and look at that how classy is that that is so beautiful now again you can use it that way you can use it that way if you want to it doesn't matter you can use it obviously landscape or portrait or like we did earlier look at that you can use it that way as well you could have the flowers growing out of there too to give you that lovely aspect on there but I do feel with this especially with the clean and simple this is like a never-ending story there's always something we're going to be able to add to it there's always something that we can give to it and we can change it with so many colors it will look and take you through so many different seasons each and every time and that's what it's all about honestly you're clean and simple in blooms collection this is now the plus collection this is where we're now giving you the larger size but obviously we will still do the clean and simple in the boxes for you as well but we wanted to give you something that will now add on as an extra to build in with the range this is 39.99 it should be 44.99 but obviously here today we've got the special launch shows for you already over 55 percent of the stock has already gone we have been very very busy and obviously you know you've got time in between but don't leave it too long because obviously later on people will be coming in and re-watching this back i wouldn't want you to miss out you do get the storage folder to pop it in so you have got the storage that comes with it as well which makes it easy for you to store it if you want to you can punch holes in that put it in a ring binder and keep them in that but if not stack it with your clean and simple box sets as well it's slightly larger but stack it in with that and honestly you'll keep them all together lovely co collection like I say from the clean and simple range and I have to say I've had a fantastic day here as well with you all it's nice to know that you you come and support me as well here when I'm here because I'm not here all the time lovely Carla will be back soon so do not worry but I can't wait yes Miss Tasman. And just to let everybody know, this will be featured on Hobby Maker on Monday at 4 p.m. I believe. Yeah. There you go. So that could be another chance for you to get it too. But don't leave it too long. Thank you so much to everybody from Carnage Crafts, the design team, Miss Tasmin, and everybody else behind the scenes. And thank you to you for watching.